And for your viewer pleasure, just a little bit of music for you. So. No, already. So this is the episode uh, six horseplay live pregame. January 16, 2014. The uh, title of this episode is Geek Rage Against the Machine. See what I did there? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. And it's also the uh, farewell to uh, soldierism. Not forever, just for now. We'll, we'll reel him into some special recordings. Homeboy done got himself a job. I know. Get, I'm getting paid, dog. They, they grow up so fast, I tell you. <laughs> the feelings here, guys. The feelings. I have tears, but I'm 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 choking them back with beer. Oh, are you? You're choking your tears back with beer. <laughs> yeah. What a pregame everybody's getting right now. Just like yeah. a beer and tears. Yeah, hey, this... let's tune into horseplay. What are they talking? They're not even saying out. They're just talking. What are they doing? <laughs> And I and I I upload you know raw and uncut to YouTube on my side. Oh no, I feel bad for you, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be okay. <laughs> for some reason, that sounded like a circumcision joke. <laughs> no, I had that done when I was young. I'm good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump in here. Kids, ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, here we go. Um, maybe. Hey, everybody, what's going on? This is Horseplay, episode six. I forgot the rest of it. Geek Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> <laughs> and a farewell to a buddy. That's on the show. Soldierism. Um, he done grew up, everybody, and he got a job. So we're proud of that, actually, from him. Um, but right here, you have your host and my cohorts for the show that today is Obi One X Two right here, and we have o Yogi Zilla over to the way over there. Up top, and we have soldiers I'm down on bot. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Nothing much. I, I my my camera was switched around because I usually point there for <laughs> it's mirrored or something. Anyway, but um, uh, sorry about my camera. Anyways, um, uh, just kind of going raw. Actually, my green screen is not compatible with Skype or something to the, that sort. So I um. I just not using it. So um, uh, they want they like to see my reactions sometimes um, as soon as they happen because they actually have to wait just like everybody else does because of the the, the stream lag. That's right. So, <laughs> so but 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 anyway, where this is, um, he did get a job and he did um, trying to just provide for his family. So he he should be back in shortly. Um, you know, every now and then to uh, give his two cents and worth, you know, about two cents, maybe 20 cents. When I can and possibly more towards the uh, latter part of the show, I could probably hop on at times. Definitely. And, of course, we have our free ball segment at, the, segment at the end of the show, so you know he's going to want to get on there just for a half hour. Especially after work. Oh, <laughs> Lord, I don't even know if I want to do it. <laughs> We're gonna have to have him call in on that, or 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 text in his rant. It's like I hate this job. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this heifer. You know, honestly, honestly, I'm gonna have to say seriously, this is probably looking to be the best job I've ever had. Uh, the starting wage is better than any job I've had for uh, two years. Oh wow! So yeah, th that that's how my other jobs have been. This job is looking amazing. Uh, I had an inside line on it. A friend hooked me up with it, and. It's looking to it's it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a lot nicer than any other job I've had. Well, I'm I'm excited for you, dude. I mean, you set the bar low when you start off McDonald's and Burger King. Now uh, Arby's is a big step, right? I didn't even start. <laughs> I, no, I didn't. Oh, shut up. 
Uh, no. Uh, uh, okay, a little bit of a background here. For You're me. mean. All You're right. Mean. So, I, I have worked years in the heating and air industry and plumbing even. Uh, I did it all through high school. I did it for a couple years here where I live. Uh, I worked at a trailer house company, you know, putting in electrical. So I'm kind of a jack of all, master of none at this point. Um, but you you would think a heating and air guy would get paid decently, but no. No, you, you, the only time you get paid decently is when you've worked there for 20 years. So yeah. uh, apparently it's not a great job to get into. I mean, it's work. Um, but this job is going to be doing something else I really enjoy, and it's going to be working on airplanes. Uh, I actually get to. So no, uh, it's not Arby's, everybody. No, it is not <laughs> Arby's. I've tried fat, fast food restaurants don't want me. I'd probably eat all the food. Uh, <laughs> I would too. Yeah. I'm going to start out in the metal finish department, and I don't exactly know. I just know I'm going to be buffering parts. Um, and so, and then from that point, after the first, you know, initial however many days or months, I could actually transfer to any position I wanted uh, if I wanted to. That being said, this is also going to help me with my engineering degree because they will help pay for my tuitions and my books. Um, and it's also making me decide on changing which college I'm going to go to for my bachelor's right now. I'm just working on gen eds, my associates, but if I can, uh, work there and go to college in Wichita, then I would be switching up and going to college in Wichita rather than Pittsburgh. So, right. so we it's will basically, see what... it's basically going to be a life. It, it could be possibly moment. It, or job. it has the opportunity to do that. Right. There's the opportunity for it to be my life job at this company. Um, that being said, it's not what I had in mind. But you know what? If the opportunity arises, I might take it. The sucky part of that about that is, is I'll still be in freaking Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come to Kansas. Run. Oh. Are you mad about the football? I'm not going to get into football uh, the whole time. No, hey, man, it's okay. Not... We're probably going to be closer because me and my wife are thinking about moving to Colorado. <laughs> that, that'd be nicer than Kansas. <laughs> Colorado, where so. weed is uh, the one thing Colorado is known for besides school shootings is uh, weed being legalized. What are you talking about, man? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the way, the way... Sure. So anyway... <laughs> You know what? We should give John, you know, Obi, you and I as the old farts of the show, we need to give John some some guidance here real quick before we continue our introductions and go into the news and all that good stuff. This is my no. tip. This is my I advice mean, real quick. I just heard something. He, I don't know if you picked up on this, but he said that he's going to do, he's doing two years of general study. That means he's going to do two more years of core studies for you, whatever you're bachelor's or whatever degree you're going for dude are you insane do you know how how crazy that's going to be good luck it's going to be freaking fun it's engineering dude i get to build crap yeah but no one can, you'll have no life dude no one can handle freaking that have many course already. I, what yeah, are you talking I'm full, about i'm a full-time oh student my gosh. 15 hours i'm working 15 hours credits right now i'm also going to be working a full-time job i get up i go to class i go straight to work uh, I come home, I sleep, I get up, I go to class again. I will not have a life, which is the reason why it kind of sucks is, is that I will not be able to post YouTube videos or be on this show any longer. I mean, I will put up what videos I can, but that will depend on what I do on the weekends. And initially, it's going to be the homework. But anytime I have left over, I'll That's be playing games. Life too, buddy. No more, no more oh, selfies on Tumblr or Instagram. Huh? No more selfies yeah. of, of you on, on Tumblr and I Instagram. I don't do selfies. I honestly... Is that what I heard? I caught him. I caught no, him. He does I do them. not. I, I, my wife is... Is that what I heard? ...for Snapchat to her friends, and I look at her like an idiot, and I go, Really? You can't just send her a text? The text is free. You're using data. <laughs> I sound like an old man when I tell her this, too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, girl, you better stop using all my data. All right. Well, anyway, let's get back into the intro of the show. <laughs> we keep it real here, folks. If A little anybody, early, early free balling. If, if for some odd reason you guys can't get chat, you guys can't. Um, 
throughout the show and you guys just can't get through to us, you guys can also tweet us. Um, our Twitters are beside us. Yogi's is right below him. Soldierism is right to the right of him, and mine's right below me, right down there. Uh, you guys can tweet us. We're always watching those, and we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as we get those tweets. But anyway, let's get to actually the this episode now. We've done a little pre-ranting, and we need to, yeah. <laughs> so let's get back to what we're doing. And Yogi, go ahead. I, I don't know. Where, where where the heck are we at? So Where are we at? <laughs> so, yeah, we're we're at news, uh, man. so uh, to get us back on track, in, in this episode, we'll do quite a bit of ranting. Um, <laughs> mainly on the current state of the video game industry, or the gaming industry, whichever one you want to call it. And the things that pa- baffle us, they baffle us when we're playing online games. Um, and of course, you know, we're going we're gonna to haze Soldier a little bit and we're going to miss him. And that's how men deal with, with feelings. We don't cry, we just give each other shit. <laughs> we hit each other. We hit each other in the balls. <laughs> no, 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 had enough of that in high school. No, no, no balls play, everybody. No, no uh, balls play. This no <laughs> is horse play, play, not balls play. Yes. <laughs> or or hose hose play hosen hosen play mein Leben. As we learned, you know, we're, we're we're part German. We have a German audience apparently from the previous episode. Watch episode five to, for that to make sense. I think it was episode five, right? Where we had the yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's just let's just stay out that subject, <laughs> just because. So, uh, so what's up, guys? Uh, outside of video games, what's, what's everybody been up to? <laughs> job. <laughs> we know, we know, we know. Soldier got a that's job. The, that's the only thing I've been up to is games. Guild Wars Two. That's that's about that. That's been my main thing lately. Uh been uh finally transferred to my the server that my guild is in it's on uh sorrows of furnace and did some world reworlding and that is always fun um got my dragonic armor which is uh, it's the berserkers dragonic armor so i got lots of power lots of crit chance lots of precision really nice uh working on trying to map out the entire map and then work on ascended gear but that's probably more for people who actually play guild wars 2 quite a bit to know what that means but that's my day. That's my week. I'm nodding my head as if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. It's it's well, not a game for everyone. Um, I like Guild course, Wars. As 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 you, I mean, I'm sure you two know. I mean, I tell you every other every other day. Um, but of course, my bowling average is going up for some odd reason, and I'm not. What? What is your bowling average? One sixty-two. Oh, I beat you. Um, I'm in the 200s. Yeah, but I got two 300 games under my belt. Do you? Dude, I did that with my left hand, and I'm right-handed. <laughs> okay. Sure okay, thing, buddy. Getting deep. Go ahead. Sure thing, man. Sure thing. It's okay. <laughs> I. But anyway, um, we've been, uh, me and my wife have been expanding and doing more on her business, and that's growing quite, I mean, a lot, and we're really happy with that, and we expect to grow just even more, so... Um, but that's basically our week to week. I mean, nothing. Um, of course, I play my video games. I've been playing a lot more while, but we'll get back into that here in a little while in the dust off. But I, I mean, Yogi, what have you been doing outside of the the video game world? Oh man, it's <laughs> it's been one of those weeks. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm just gonna say one one of the things I don't like about Georgia. You know how they always say down south, everybody's like ass backwards. And I usually defend George. It's like, no, it's not that bad like down south. And some things are pretty progressive. Like where I live in Augusta, it's a pretty progressive area. But the school system is shit. <laughs> Let me tell you, they have this thing. I'm not going to get too deep into it. Flat shit right there. But I'm going to give you the general, the general, the general story. Um, someone close to me. That's possibly of blood relation. Got caught. <laughs> supposedly got connected to a possible substance issue. Mind you, he said person that may or may not be related to me. <laughs> um, um, I'm really trying not to spill the beans here. I'm trying to be as general as possible. But <laughs> his test came out negative. We just took the, we had him two tests, and someone was sitting there with him. 
So there's no way it could be it, it could be uh, fubard, right? It could, there's no way it could be fudged, all right? That's the word I'm looking for. And okay. when we took it to this supposed tribunal, they said, "I'm sorry, that's not admissible unless you can subpoena the nurse that was there." Uh, what? It's a certified copy, notarized and everything. That means it already has a witness. That's admissible in court, but your little shitty tribunal with three old people that haven't taught in years and are so out of touch are going to say that's not admissible. So I'm, 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 that's, that's just fucked up my whole week, man. Dealing with that bullshit. I guess so. <laughs> that's, wow. that's a rough week. Yeah, I'm dude. Sorry, but that's a rough Individual week, that may or may not be related to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. May or may not have been I... caught with substance. <laughs> that hey. means he is related to him and he was caught with substance. He was not. He was not. He was not. There was not even. This he is what's was funny about it. Him, but was... This is what's funny about it. There was no substance found, no paraphernalia found. The only thing that the the, 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 the supposed the teacher found was the smell. And I'm pretty sure that most people, unless they are engaged in the habit, they can't distinguish the scent of skunk and weed. I'm sorry to say. Most people cannot distinguish the difference. Unless they in themselves in, in, in engage in that activity. So, I don't know. It's just a shame, like... Uh, they, they they have these systems in place that don't in, in, inspire the youth to be, do good things with their life. It, it, instead, what it does is inspire them to just give up and like be like good for nothings, you know. And it, their whole system is guilty until proven innocent. It's completely backwards from the rest of the world. Yep, that's uh, how it's supposed to be. I thought. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, school reform. That's something I, if I was a politician, I'd actually try to fight for, do something worth a damn and fight for that. Because uh, it just pisses me off that our, our youth is, is subjected to such bullshit. But anyway, that's, that was my week in a nutshell. And in between that, I, you know, I did some, I did a work. I've, I've been working on, uh, on, um, I don't know if you want to do, uh, we'll hold off on the news, but I've been working on some stuff for us. So we'll talk about that during the news. Uh, Definitely. So that's good, and uh, so I've been productive. It's just dealing with that stuff in between. It's like knock the wind out of my sails. It's, you know when you you know when you got momentum going, and then it's like all of a sudden some crappy thing happens. Like really, right now of all times, <laughs> that's basically yeah, my really. week. Well, un uh, fortunately for you, Yogi, we're actually getting ready to go into the obligatory news. <laughs> so guess what? You get to keep talking. <laughs> oh, I thought we everybody. Would be we would swap off on these because there's a lot. Did yeah, you, did you guys it. look at this week's news? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, there's a lot of news that we are actually going to go over. So basically buckle your seatbelts because we're just going to go poof, as fast as not as fast as we can, but we're going to get through it. According to the Gaming History 101 and at Tiger Claw of allgames.com, Tetris, Ghostbusters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers all celebrate their 30 years, 30th anniversary in 2014. Um, straight from CES, 14 companies confirmed to manufacture Steam games, uh, effectively called Steam Boxes. So basically when, you know, of course you guys got this, what is it, the Steam software? We talked yeah. about this the other last, I think it was uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, these are the actual Steam machines, so now they actually have the hardware to run, the, the official hardware to run it. But uh, the Steam OS can be put on any, anything, pretty much. Right. And, and it said that the prices are going to range from right around $500 to $6,000. Um, so you can imagine that the $6,000, is there's going to be a little bit of a bundle there. Um, yeah. Unless they're just getting the, the, the all, like a wireless box or something like that. Um or you know, I could see it doing do it like that. I, I could, I could see like box. I could see like a wireless box with internet access, in, mm -hmm. uh, like almost anywhere in the world. You know, like they do with the uh, the cell phones and whatnot. Uh, for six thousand, I could kind of see that, but I would have to see. A, I would think they'd do a subscription to that too, personally. Right. Well, with the oh, I'm a little too loud. There we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, boom. So yeah. So yeah. So so. But uh, the interesting thing is that the uh, the Cyber Power PC. You know, you know they had to get up in the mix. Cyber Power PC. They always make uh, bare bones systems and 
pre-built rigs or machines you could easily upgrade to make it your own, right? So, of course, they're going to get in a steam machine thing. And their entry-level machine, which is going to be between $400 and $500, more or less, has been benchmarked to have higher performance than the Xbox One and the PS4. Now, regardless how you feel about the next-gen, the next-gen, quote-unquote, consoles, that's pretty impressive, if you ask me. That's pretty damn impressive to match the price of them and offer almost three times the 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 raw computing performance. You understand that? And not just that. Since the Steam OS, this is the thing I keep trying to bring into hone into everyone. The Steam OS is gonna have a smaller footprint. If you look at the Xbox One and the PS4, they use close to, um, well, about over a third or close to a third, I would say, of the RAM. Um, I might be overestimating, but it's a good amount. Like, I think it's 25%. I forgot what the exact numbers were. But I think, like, uh, with the Xbox One, it uses 3 gigs of the 8 gigs RAM, and the PS4 uses uh, 2 gigs of the 8 gigs of RAM. That's the system memory. That's a significant amount. That's a huge footprint for an operating system alone. So SteamOS is going to have much smaller footprint than that. So all that extra power dedicated to the gaming task. That, that's kind of what I get excited about. Um, uh, to, not to mention, okay, I'm just going to put this out there. You guys remember what kind of computer I run? Kind of. Yeah, more or less. But it's, it's sexy. Cyber power PC computer. So... Yeah. I did some digging on my computer itself, my exact make and model, not not to, um, you know, not the video card, not the the extra RAM. I'm just the exact what of what I have, and my computer has capabilities to have the OS installed on it in a separate spot. Mm-hmm. So it looks like CyberPower PC, and this computer is two years old. Okay. Now, looks like Salary Power PC's been in there. Their fingers have been in this longer than anybody thinks it is. Okay? Because if my computer that's over two years old can be upgraded to that, that that's quite a bit. I mean, that's they've, they've been dibbling. They must have had this idea for over, you know, working on it for the last five years. Yeah. But it wouldn't surprise me, especially yeah. if it's going to be good. I'll definitely get it. And you know what's interesting too about the PC market? Um, <clears throat> it used to be like that the moment you open a box uh, for a computer, it, they obsolete the moment you open it up. But mm-hmm. nowadays, computers are much better investments because the technology is a lot longer lasting, so to speak. Right. And I think they they have a lot more foresight now because they've realized that you know the consoles are becoming more of, of a encroachment into their territory. So they're being smarter about it. I mean, I, I see the chipsets that the i5, i3, i7 use, and all the popular AMD processors use. Uh, I think those chipsets are going to be around for a long time, and they're just going to build around them. So people with older older motherboards can still upgrade it and keep and stay relevant, keep up to date if they want to get a little extra power. And that's the way to do it, because it used to be yeah. like every every six months, three months, a new chipset would come out, and it's, it'd be like, oh. That, all that hardware you bought, all that those RAM chips and that the uh, PCIe cards, the AGP cards and stuff they bought, no, they're no good anymore unless you get a whole new motherboard. Yeah, but but you got to remember, AMD is they're not going to be emphasizing their um, their gaming anymore. Um, AMD is uh, their their gaming motherboards. Now, when I say gaming motherboard, um, it's like what I have. I have a a gaming motherboard and processor chipset in that in the CyberPower, but the AMD is they're just going to the regular, um, uh, basically what what's in there is in there. They're not giving the uh, they're 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 shrinking a lot. Hence why I'm going to Intel as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, AMD is still going to be relevant because they took Donations over... Donations are welcome. AMD Thank took you. over ATI. Don't forget about that. <laughs> yes. So, but And I love ATI it. cards. I prefer them over NVIDIA, personally. Mm-mm. I don't. Every time I've had an NVIDIA card, it's been a terrible experience. Even and that... Dude, ever since I bought my NVIDIA 9800, when it was new, I'm, I'm sold. My GeForce, done. 
I I won't get nothing but an Nvidia. You know? I might I might give it a try. I might try a GTX uh, six seventy six or whatever it is six seventy or or seven seventy seven seven seventies are good. Uh, they're really pricey, but uh, the seven seven forties are ca- kind of like the the six fifties. They're they're decent for what it is. It's for like the 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 little guy that don't want to spend two couple hundred dollars or close to two hundred dollars on a video card that only wants to spend less than a hundred dollars but still get good graphics. Yeah. So it's 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 equivalent to what the, the six forty was. Um I mean I got six forty in my computer still. <laughs> so or I gotta s I don't even know who cares. Yeah, you know, there's um, so many ways to pop to to squeeze out more performance out of last year's technology. I don't even worry about it, you know. Like everything that comes out now is bleeding edge technology. It's more for like bragging rights, you know. Now, Most, if you don't have SSD hard drives, SSDs is 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 a worthwhile thing because you don't have to worry about seek rates and uh, the load times. But it doesn't really impact the in-game performance as much as people think. That's more for the loading times. Uh, unless you have a lot of stuff being pulled from the hardware, most of that stuff is coming off of the cache, so it's already in resident memory. I'm not gonna get into the freaking geek talk. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, for those that are interested in uh, in-depth hardware analysis, they have a good article over at Engadget. Uh, we usually try to avoid the mainstream stuff, but they have good stuff over. This. In, the, in this particular case, they were one of the best sources I found, and uh, just just go to Engadget.com and look up uh, Valve Steam Machine specs. And you should find it in their search. But I would like to note that both the PS4 and the Xbox One are very similar in specs. And they both employ an oct- octocore. That's an 8-core AMD Jaguar clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, right? And right. the CyberPower computer we were just talking about, the CyberPower Steam Machine, is rocking an AMD A6-6400K A6- uh, A- clocked at 3.9 gigahertz. And it's, I don't remember how many cores it is, but even though it has less cores than the Xbox One and the PS4, it was, it benchmarked better. So it's kind of interesting that it has, even with that, you know, uh, you know, uh, it could be argued that uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One are more strong because they ha- have more multi-threading capability. But people don't realize, unless the apps, the software, the games are, are coded to take advantage of multi-threaded capabilities, multiple cores do not matter. And the same thing happens on the operating system. Unless you have the SMP, you know, a multi-threaded version of the operating system, you're not going to see the, the benefits of dual, quad, six-core, eight-core, none of that. So, you know, this okay. is going to give you more raw, raw computing power. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Right. Well, you got to have the you got to have all the all the pieces together to actually to to mean anything. Um, Tim Schaefer of Lucas Arts. Uh, point and click adventure games finally set a release date for Broken Age. Do you guys know that at all? I do not know that one. Is it anything like Hammer? Well, no, it can't be anything like Hammer Watch. <laughs> I don't. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't remember Broken Age. This was. Uh, I think it was a I'm Kickstarter. Sorry. It was a Kickstarter, and mm-hmm. um, I think the rest of it is in, is in here. But I know. I remember Tim Schafer worked on some of the earlier LucasArts games. I want to see Sam and Max hit the road. Right. Um, I don't remember what else though. Well, but... it's gonna. Well, anyway, it's it's gonna be a 2014 release, um, and promises uh, an immersive, story-driven um, adventure and beautiful hand-drawn graphics. Um, so it's gonna be basically kind of like a uh, maybe. I don't know. I, w- I don't want to say days because it's not really a story-driven um, <laughs> game. I've been playing a lot of it, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been driving me. It's been bringing me back to different times. <laughs> the good times. Anyway, um, but it, uh, I'm thinking about maybe even checking it out or doing some research on it, more research myself on it, because um, anything that has that kind of name, you would think it'd be... You know, halfway decent. You got to work your way up. You know, by doing what? You know, it, that'll, that'll be going coming within the future. But I don't know, Yogi. Would you think it's it's going to be on Windows, Mac, and and Lynx? Well, I think what's interesting about Linux. it is that now that the indie scene has really come in full force with all the crowd force, all the crowdsourcing options they have. 
I think now we're going to see people t coming out with riskier projects and also trying to bring back some of the, the golden age of gaming. Like, you don't really see that many point-and-click adventure games. And he said it himself, he had to go through Kickstarter because there's no way he would have raised 300 k which was the Kickstarter goal. They raised $3 million instead of 300 k That's a huge deal. So there's obviously still a marketplace for this kind of thing. Uh, but he but he knew that if he went to like a traditional publisher, like I don't know, Activision or EA, they wouldn't be like point and click adventure, who plays that? But it's That's stupid because on the flip side, Telltale Games, isn't that kind of what they do with their like Walking mm -hmm. Dead games? It, they're point and click adventures. So there's obviously right, well, a marketplace. A point and click adventure. I mean you think of point and click, you think of, you know, the last one that I played was Armada Online. And like I told you guys last week, and even with, with Mark here, I said, this is a game that I probably would have never, ever played if Yogi <laughs> wouldn't have said, you know, hey, try this out. I actually like it. I mean, of course, I play League of Legends, and I play, you know, um, um, I don't know, some other point-and-click games. But And I actually like them because you actually have to pay attention. You can't just run or you can't just... You you know, pass your mouse your your W button and you run for twenty miles. <laughs> yeah. No spamming of the keys. All right. Um, I do have some exciting news that I'm kind of excited about, but I'm really kind of bummed about because I play both of these games. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what you're getting to, yeah. Lay it on yeah. us. Lay it on us. <laughs> Guys, lead designer from Blizzard, you guys know him. Swifty's had him on his channel before. Greg Street, he left Blizzard. Where did he go? He <laughs> joined Riot Games for League of Legends. Don't know how this is going to work, and I don't know if it's... Somebody just tried to put it out there to mess everybody up, but that's the news that we have. If this is wrong, and I hope I am. If this is wrong, please tell me. But I don't think I am because Yogi got this information. Blame it on me. It's like, oh, if it's a bad source, it's blame it on Yogi. But you guys know, you guys know, you guys know, you guys, you have both played League, well, League, uh, World of Warcraft. And you guys have both played League of Legends. Yeah. Now, do you think that a person like, I mean, this, we're not talking like just a side designer or somebody that's down the road. We're talking about the main dude. That's been with Blizzard from day one. Yeah. My curiosity is why did he leave? Yeah. Um, I mean, what would, if you've been there from day one, you've got so much invested into it. But he's, and not he, to mention, I believe he was having problems with how they were wanting to put out Warlords or Draenei. Draenei. Ah. Um, yeah. But I'm is not going to be their League of Legends style. I'm not going to their... speculate at, at all, ever. <clears throat> but. They he was in the in the past when they were before they did release and stuff there was leaks and stuff that they he was having problems with the um, the other designers and the other big dogs in the in the game because it's not just he's just the designer he has no pull it basically this is what I want to do they say okay sure do make it happen designer but is one of the most integral people in any team. Exactly. Because you can get anyone to code or do graphics, but a designer is the one that understands the balancing issues, you know, and, 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 and what makes sense from a you know player's perspective and from a development perspective. They, they bridge the gap. But, but, well, on the other end of this, we, I am going to definitely follow this um, just because I want to know what's going to happen. Because if it's just something that, you know, Greg's helping Riot out with and he couldn't be under contract with World of Warcraft for Blizzard and they're had they have an understanding he might go back or whatever. I will when we get the news, we will tell you guys. Definitely. Well, Obi, you know what's gonna happen, right, bro? I hope. You know what you know what's gonna happen. It's the speculation's gonna start. And I know that a lot of people are gonna start start uh, the bogus story or, or true stories are gonna come out about Riot making an MMO. Which, you know, I don't necessarily... It's viable. I don't see MMOs as, vi as that viable right now, but you can still do it if you're really aggressive. Mm -hmm. Riot has the, 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 the pull to do it. But I see them doing some other franchises with all the characters they developed so far. And, and, and like, doing some spin-off games. 
besides the other game modes they're going to be introducing in 2014. So I do see them see, diversifying I, what they're offering soon. I, I kind of disagreed on the part where MMOs are not a big, or I, I don't know how exactly how you word it, but with MMOs uh, kind of not being a big deal. The problem with MMOs nowadays, in my opinion, is, is that they're pretty much, if you take away the graphics, they're almost exactly the same. And that's what I don't like about a lot of MMOs uh, is is that they typically are, hey, come here, you know, and either they make it to where the tutorial takes three hours to go through. They want to make it so different. Oh, God, I hate and that. <laughs> that. You know, those are stupid. I mean, granted, EVE Online, um, I believe that there is an article about this one guy who was there from beta. He has not stopped playing it. And I guess you can actually make real money off of it. And apparently, he got he got off to a great start, and he's been sticking to his guns. And right now, he makes a better paycheck than a lot of other people just from having a, an account with him now, because he owns so many trade ports or something. And every time uh, <laughs> other people fly through them or something, they pay some kind of toll, and then he can trade in the money he gets from that toll and gets real money out of it. And, I mean, the, yeah. it's ridiculous how hard it is to get real money out of it. But I guess he's gotten so massive that he can make a living off of it. But yeah. when I tried playing Eve, it was way too damn complicated. Eve is way awesome, though. Yeah, it is very complicated. I, it, it, I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying it's not the type of game I would want to invest a lot of time into right from the get-go like that. Because I don't even know if it's going to be fun after the tutorial. Uh, well, to be fair... I mean, main, yeah, go ahead. The, the main reason I like Guild Wars 2 is, is that... You know, in World of Warcraft, to me, it takes it takes a lot of grinding to get max level to get to end game. Uh, that being said, it's not that hard technically, but you have to go and do quest after quest after quest. Uh, what I like about Guild Wars 2 is is that uh, you can either get it through you could your level one character you could take them straight to World v World and just start doing the fun things. I mean, it's going to pump you up to level 80. Of course, level 80s will have better gear, but you still have a fighting chance. You still get your stats bumped up to 80. Uh, so you can get to the fun right off the bat. You still level up through it. Uh, you can level up through crafting. You can level up through, uh, you know, there's lots of different ways to level up. And I just love the way they've put it together, which is the reason why I'm still able to play it nowadays. It's the first, MM first MMO <laughs> I've ever gotten Endgame with. <laughs> uh, but the rest of the MMOs, they seem to be just cut and dry, the same exact thing. Yeah. Almost. And that's what I don't like about most of them. Yeah, like, th this is the thing, and then, well, I don't want to beat a dead horse, because this is more of a, a free-balling or a rant section kind of thing, but uh, a little speedball type of thing. But Stick to the news, sir. Yeah, let's stick to the news, but I, all I'm going to say is that... Uh, they are viable, but it's a very crowded market right now. You have to have a lot of money and uh, and a huge following to make it sustainable. And I think Riot, if anybody could... I mean, they got the most played game on the PC. That's the fact. They, they've, they, they've edged out work, World of Warcraft a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, so uh, who wants to take the next bit of news? I... I think Soldier said he wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I want to, I want to. Well, do okay, you, so do you actually care about this bit of news? No. Ghost Recon? Yeah, cause... that's him. You talking to me? Or you talking to Obi? No, you. I'm talking to you. You soldier? To me? I I have played. I had Ghost Recon too. I don't remember which one. I've not been a big Ghost Recon fan, but I am an FPS fan. Uh, okay, so Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Online is coming to Steam as an early access game. Uh. That being said, Ghost Recon is a lot more realistic than your CODs and Battlefields. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it is a nice game. It is a great game, uh, and especially if you were, want to look at it from a tactical view. Um, but it's, it's a game you will invest time. It's a game you have to focus on. It's not a game you can just go and shoot in. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like War Thunder, but man. You guys it, it, have that time in it. Yeah, you got to invest time into it. Um, <laughs> The, the the nice thing about it is is that you actually have a squad that matters. Yeah. Uh, you actually tell them what to do, how to do it. Um, as for it being realistic, I think the only game that beats it in realism would be the Arma games. Yeah. Uh, so 
I mean, it, it's a great game. Uh, the fact that they're bringing it early access on Steam, you know, early access on Steam has become more of a uh, less of a specialty and more of a common occurrence nowadays. <laughs> Still a good thing, but if you look at every single game on Steam, they're all early access by the feel of it. Uh, it started with Minecraft being early access, and then the rest of them have become early access. But yes, that is coming online. So for those Ghost Recon fans, you will be able to play Ghost Recon Online early access on Steam. Congratulations. I'm excited about it. Yogi's excited. I might get into it. We'll see what happens, but depends. Honestly, it, honestly, if I was to spend money on a game I was going to invest time into, it would be Daisy at this point. That's another one I need to get, I need to get behind as well. Um, yeah. But I just like the fact that I like tactical shooters more than these run and gun types. I love Battlefield, but I just I'm I'm sick and tired of E of EA. So that's just my personal thing on it. Everyone is. Everyone is. Screw you, EA. <laughs> All right. So also, AT and T and other companies are beginning pilot programs to incense incentivize. Giving up customer private or consumer privacy. Tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're going to pay customers or offer deep discounts for opting into marketing programs. Um, I guess we're seeing high premiums placed on private data, advertising opt-ins, and marketing insights. Um, is this the face of things to come for big data and online experiences? Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to say that if they reach the point where they inflate it to the point where you have to sign into that kind of stuff just to get your costs back down to the way they originally were, I will go straight to straight talk. I didn't get great service. I didn't get a great phone. But I tell you <laughs> what, $90 for both me and my wife to have unlimited talk, text, and web. It's not great web. They're not great phones. The service wasn't great. But I can call somebody from home, and that's what matters. Yeah. And it's uber cheap. So... Honestly, uh, I believe that would be a bad turn for the bigger companies, more in the rural and smaller, poorer areas. Uh, of course, the city yokels, they're just going to be, you know, what, what's, uh, what does the Duck Dynasty people call them? The, the, <laughs> the yuppies. The yuppies, of course, aren't going to care. So they're going to do everything they can to keep their high and mighty iPhones. Um, well, but I think that, that, that would be a bad turn, I think. For the more rural areas, like here's what I th- where I am. Here's what I think this news this news item is really telling us, it, it, and it's not just AT and T that's placing a huge premium on uh, you know your privacy and your personal data. Like everyone's doing it, Google's doing it, and if you just go, if you spend any time on the internet, there's always someone somewhere that's willing to give you something supposedly for free just give for giving you contact information like giveaways giveaways are a great example every time you go to giveaway yeah. they ask for your name your email address and maybe if you're lucky that's all they ask for but it may ask for your phone number your occupation you know you get there's always an exchange because we're living in an information it's an information economy the way this is the way i see it people are like oh fuck that i don't want them to know where i live and what i do and all oh, how many people are in my fa- in my household the thing is Honestly, they, they already do. I think I'd rather have them say, yeah. hey, do you want to opt into this? Rather than saying, hey, we're going to take that information one way or another. So, I, you know, for me, I, I make I, no pretense of thinking my information is private. If I'm going to get heavy discounts for it, at least I'm getting something for being raped. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. <laughs> you're violating me. Well, you're, Here, you're, at least pay me for it. For being raped already, That's what I'm uh, saying. You know, it's like, I'll be your hooker. You know, you pay me, I'll give you my information. I'll, you know, I'll spread my information legs for you. Uh, the thing with it is, is, is that, uh, yeah, your dad is out there. If I'll be your hooker. if somebody knows your phone number, they'll find out where you live. <laughs> I, I've had to do it. Actually. Obi's just shaking I'll his head your, over there. I, I've I'll be had your to huckleberry. Do it. I'll be a Huckleberry fan. Uh, now, but anyway, so wrong I have... Movie. Wrong movie. That's the only movie I know. Tombstone, man. Doc <laughs> Holiday <laughs> comes out and says, I'll I'm be sorry. your Huckleberry. I'm sorry, Obi. I don't know that one. Good. I'm sorry, old man. I'm sorry, Osan. <laughs> you little bastard. You better not let it happen again. <laughs> no. But anyway, yeah, it, your dad is out there. It's easy to find uh, if you just look for it. Uh They've got websites where you pay a dollar and they'll tell you they'll tell you right down to somebody's underwear size uh, 
just for a buck online, which I find to be ridiculous. But um, anyway, yeah, so if, if you really want to sign into that, I could definitely see that. Uh, you know, there, I'm not worried about my information getting out there. I'm more pissed off at the fact that they have the balls to inflate the price to the point to where they want you to do it just to get your price back down to normal. Um, I also don't like the fact that if they're taking it for marketing purposes and uh, advertising and whatnot, that's more crap bogging me down. So if it's just emails, I'll give them a fake email and they can send <laughs> me emails. I won't even I won't even look at that email in, in, uh, inbox on that on that email. Uh, if it's letters, that's where all the good porn goes is when you don't look at it. <laughs> that's my that's that's my other one. That's my Yahoo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway but if they send you mail hey you could use that for kindling if you want start a fire um, but if they're going to start calling me on my cell phone at just all day like if I got to answer two or three calls a day saying oh hey would you like to purchase this I'm going to be like hell no I do not <laughs> want to purchase any of your crap if I did not find it online and order it I don't freaking want it not no but hell no that's what is right. This? I get I get pissed off at things. I've had yeah. this happen. I, I I've had education services calling my phone asking for my wife, and she never gave them my number. And you've got these colleges saying, "Oh, hey, we're here uh, for so and so about continuing her education." And I finally got pissed off after a week of this, and I said, "Lady, I don't know where the hell you got this number." But there is no education that my wife is looking for. Oh yeah. Said, Oh, I got pissed off. And she's like, well, where do you think I got this number? I said, I think you bought it off somebody with a bunch of other numbers. He's That's sassing. the way you guys work. I get pissed off at people who try to take advantage of me like that. We might have to leave it for we might have to leave it for the free balling and talk about the universities, how desperate they are. Yeah, that's a whole other well, thing. No, these are these aren't universities. These are people I've never heard of. These are colleges that are, you know, it's kinda like uh, I like courses. Uh, yeah, well, of course they're, you know. Th those kind of colleges. <laughs> I mean Colleges, I mean, I've heard of Westwood on, on advertisements. I've heard of him, them. Uh, but, I mean, they're just <clears> these <throat> really low colleges that are just trying to make a buck. Sorry. And it, I'm sorry. I apologize. This, this is not good. Off, man. It was hilarious. So, so I'm so, I, I'm so getting that. <laughs> I'm going to go get a bag of ice and put it on my head and cool me off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hit a nerve. But I uh, so not, it's not it's not your fault. You hit a damn nerve, and I'm I, pissed off. I think we're all. <laughs> I'm pissed at you now, Yogi. We're all on the same. We're all in the same place. I, I I'm 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 there with you, buddy. I'm there with you. Absolutely. I think I think everybody's at that place. And honestly, I think if they did it on a larger scale, I'm pretty sure they'd get some pissed off people on their doorstep kicking some ass. We have to free ball that. We have to free ball boots, that. Boost the asses. <laughs> Boot sad. It's a good. It's a good. It's a My good size plan. size fifteen will fit up your rectum. Trust me. Whoa. Re <laughs> rectum? Damn near killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that's from, but I think it's funny. A little southern humor there. So anyway, <laughs> so eleven news for those who still care about Sony and Microsoft. Uh, Sony is releasing a streaming service. Now, you might say they had, uh, what did they have that service uh, called Gaiken or Gaiku or Gaikai? I don't know. But they're releasing Gaikai. a streaming. Uh, just... Gay Kai? Gay Kai? <laughs> Gay guy? <laughs> Gay guys. <laughs> Gay guys online. So, so Sony's releasing. Don't do that. <laughs> don't... <laughs> do not go. To that, that is not an endorsement of the Horseplay Podcast. <laughs> So, so we will get through the news. Sony is releasing a streaming service called PlayStation Now, <laughs> and uh, that's <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Who messed with the freaking notes? <laughs> I, I don't know. Someone, someone. <laughs> so anyway, so they're releasing a streaming service called PlayStation Now, and you'll be able to rent your games and stream them in real time. Uh, you might, this is akin to game tap and, you know, it's cool. I don't see it succeed, succeeding because they failed in the past. And, um, not to mention Redbox. I mean, you get a rental for two bucks. You can't beat Redbox. Now, what the hell? What? It's too dark. What? 
what happened to our notes? They're like all garbled up. <laughs> Someone <laughs> laughed and went, bah! Final. <laughs> okay, so... So I think they did it for video games. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So for it's for video, I'm re I'm just reading it wrong. So for video games, so yeah, so they want to. It looks like they want to offset the lack of backwards compatibility compa compatibility in the PS3 and the PS4, which uh, is a stupid move. I don't know why they got rid of the backwards compatibility in the PS3, and they don't even have that in the PS4. So they're trying to push the digital. They're trying to push the the online content and. I guess this is a nice way of saying, hey, you know, we just punched you in the in the gut, but now we'll give you a reach around. That's kind of Sony's, uh, that's that's <laughs> that's their approach, right? That's the, that's what they do. Keep going, that's nice man. Than everything you've ever done for me, Yogi. I need, a, I need a commercial break. We need to go. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done with the news. Uh, let's finish the notes first. Let's finish no, the let's notes. Go. Let's end the section. So GameStop is down. Uh, GameStop shares are down uh, 20%. Uh, for the last quarter, I believe, due to an increase in digital content sales. So obviously, you know, they haven't figured out how to give in a piece of the pie of digital uh, sales. So they're a little behind on that. Um, but it's funny because they had one of the strongest um, seasons ever as far as console sales went. So it's just, <laughs> this doesn't make sense. And uh, Obi used to really try and hard to distract me with why he's doing his nilly vanilla over there. He's gonna start break. He's gonna break on to blame it on the rain any second now. Um, Dude, we need to take a break. So yeah, a little, he's a little. Pay. He's gotta pay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so so some quick, old, some quick news related to us. We do have a tentative uh, website set up, um, a blog slash network for us, kind of thing, a platform. This platform. That's the word I'm looking for. For us, it's going to be on WordPress, so stay, stay tuned. We're going to go syndicate on TalkShoe, Stitcher, and hopefully iTunes. So stay tuned for details on that. We still do have uh, giveaways in the works, in the pipelines, and we'll get more details on that later on in the show. We're going to take a commercial break. I think we have everything here. Oh, yeah, and Friday, we're going to try to do Casual Friday. Where we're going to play random games very casually with our community. So anyway, yes, now... Now that All we're right, done guys. with the news. Hey, here Yogi. This or is here, this is horseplay. Shut up. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, look at that drink friends. right there. Just drip, 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 Oh drip, my drip. god, you're right there. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go too. I'll be right back. <laughs> so now while they're both away, I'm gonna i I'm gonna talk to you guys. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna sing you a song. I'm gonna tell you something nice. I don't know. I have nothing. I have nothing. This is you guys on the raw and uncut version of the uh, Whispery Podcast. Don't get to hear all the cool music and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little filler. Oh, he's back! Obi just keeps a bottle next to the desk. That's gross. <laughs> uh, it's not gross if you cut the top off. Maybe <laughs> you think about that for a second, like, I'm trying to picture that. Oh, okay. Just put a splash guard on it. You'll be alright. Coming down. And welcome back to Horseplay. <laughs> my name is Obi-1X2 and my co-host right here to my left, Yogi Zilla and Soldierism. My two co-conspirators of this wonderful show that we got going on. If you've missed the first hour of the show, it's been hilarious. But thank you right now for tuning in. Um, you guys, we're not going to get back on anything what we talked about already because we got a little bit off topic. 
And see, Soldier's even smiling right now because so, he knows Yogi's trying to play it cool like, no, we didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. But he did He did it the most. He had. He did the <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's get Man Crush. <laughs> man Crush and Geek Girls. What do we got today? We Just have a little... guest for next week, I know. Yeah, a little preview. You want to give him that preview? I'm going to give you the honor since, I mean, he's your man. He's your, he's your dog, right? Yeah, hopefully next week. It's been hard to nail him down. Um, we're looking to have for episode seven, uh, Tony Ray from We're Alive podcast and Firefall, an MMO, FYI, to talk about uh, zombies and other fun stuff. Um, actually, I, it might, I might push it up, guys. What I would like to do is get uh some zombie related gaming going with everybody, mm-hmm. uh, you know, on on the cast and in in the in the community. Obviously, Daisy's on the top of that list for a lot of people. I need to get up on that, right? But uh, well, we will be if we can get him. <laughs> okay, I will say this. I'm fixing my mic. Sorry, guys. But I I will say this though. If we can get a hold of him and can get him, he does. He has said we have been tweeting. He does, has said that he does want to do this with us, and he does want to be on the show, but we want to make sure that he has time, because he is, if you guys have ever watched him, it is so funny. He, I watched his I watched his video the other day of his outtakes. That was the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. It was so funny, just because he he's not trying to do it, then he just puts out the video of all his outtakes. Yeah, you guys got to watch it. It's hilarious. So we will keep you guys... Uh, um, keep you guys informed once we uh, again once we find um, what we want to know. I, I'm not even saying this right. We'll keep you guys informed if if <laughs> if and when Tony does want to come on or can come on. Um, so keep an eye if you don't have our Twitters, make sure you put it down because we will post it on Twitter. Is the first thing we'll do. Um, so, but to to, to get out of that community updates. Um, um, and like uh, Yogi did say, we are going to be doing some giveaways here um, in the future. But what we are, what we do want to do is we do want to make sure that we do want to. <laughs> I'm trying. Why would you even do that? I'm trying to get into this, and they're just they're messing. Yogi's doing it, and yeah, Yogi, that guy. Well, we we want to make sure that if we do have fans, I know we got something on it. We got something in chat. If we do have fans, we do want to make sure that um, we're we're able to play with those and followers that follow um, just any of us. We want to make sure that we play with them. So you guys got to make sure that uh, get at us. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different ways to get at us to that. You guys do want to play. Um, you guys can. So what were you saying now that totally just like screwed me all up? Well, Behemoth in the chat said that we're meeting my dog. Apparently, apparently that's one of the future Yogi's guests. My dog. my dog. Okay, then Yogi's dog in the future, ladies and gentlemen. So, hey, we can meet my dog right now. She's oh. on the she's on the show right now. She's here, she's snoring right next to me. Here, you can meet this guy. He's cute. God, he's so cute. Here, Hector, go eat him. Go eat him. <laughs> Take him, take him. Go eat him. Yeah, what? Eat what? Wait, eat what? Eat Wait a minute. This is weird. I can't see. Uh, for some reason, I can't see. Oh, there we go. That was weird. I could only see Obi for a little while. It was stuck on him. You stuck on Obi? <laughs> Aw. Oh. It makes me feel good. So, Yogi. <laughs> dude, that. Man, that hits me right here. I'm not going to say what other I think about you, but that hits me right here, bro. I appreciate it that. It, nope, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I need more. I need more beer. I'm not properly <laughs> inebriated <laughs> enough for this. So you know, I think we should make this a slightly longer episode, just because Soldier won't be able to play with us for a long time. That's, that's fine, man. We can do that. We can go. We, we can got go. lots of content to talk about. Lots of stuff to, to, to share. Yeah, you did this on purpose. I know you did. You put more and more, more and more content in our freaking show notes every week, so we have to extend the show every. Dude, soldier, by the time you come, dude, by the time you come back, you're gonna have to quit your job. 
Okay, when you get when you get off of work after working an eight or nine hour shift, then you can come to horseplay work because it's going to be a nine hour fucking show. It's, it's going to be a twenty four seven stream from now on. We're yeah, gonna we're just going to leave it up. <laughs> what have whatever happens happens. Oh Definitely. <laughs> I do. I can't tell you right now though. When the gaming house starts, I will be doing a twenty four hour live stream of the of the house. That'll be fun. That's right. You got you, ladies and gentlemen, get to watch every single room in that house, including the shower. 24 7 like <laughs> like it'll be completely hey, empty and I, you can watch i take three showers a day it's gonna be a it's gonna <laughs> be a uh it's gonna be a japanese style nosebleed section <laughs> like, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna be in the kawaii section <laughs> uh, okay. i'm making a note of that hold on with my pen <laughs> Soldier is kawaii. Yeah. He's, he's like, That's like K A W A I I, right? Yep. <laughs> wow. You guys are, I don't. Need, I just want to get back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about. We're talking about. Uh, we, you know, we're looking to play some games with our community, and uh, definitely tell your friends. Uh, at the top of the rotation, this is a very, you know. Um, rough playlist that we're, of some of the things we like to play with everybody and most of these are free that's why we chose these armada online skulls of the shogun magic 2014 risk of rain hearthstone and hammer watch okay they're not free but they're either free or cheap so we are giving a, doing giveaways for some of these that's why i included all of these and of course you know there's league of legends smite dota 2 um war thunder right we could do some casual arcade style battles on war thunder mm -hmm. That's about the only thing I can handle right now. I'm still figuring out how to optimize my joystick, but it's it's coming along. Well, I, no, I tried using my joystick. It sucks. We do have uh, two with the War Thunder. Um, there is a, and I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's not in the show notes. It just kind of fits here. Um, AOD. If you guys don't know what AOD is, I've told both of you. You guys both know, um, but it's it's called Angels of Death. Um, I know it's kind of a weird name, um, but it kind of almost goes in with my the name of our feature tonight. So, but uh, it's 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 basically a gaming community we play from B Battlefield Four, War Thunder, um, you know Jedi Knight, which is a uh, Star Wars game, um, uh, Daisy. Just all we I think it's like seven or eight games, um, and then you just you just play, and you always have a group of people to play with. You always have somebody to help you out or you know fly with or whatever but anyway if you guys do want to just fly with me or fly with yogi or soldier once we get yogi's stuff going um definitely we'll make a four-man squad and you know soldier can carry all of us on what we'll be happy war thunder man which one war thunder yeah i could carry yeah. you i get my lags <laughs> the, the lag it'll shooting be, it'll be he, sh he shakes his head and i'm yet, sorry I i'm sorry it'll be obi carrying everybody <laughs> And if you don't think so, I'll prove it right after the show, soldier. Let's do this. Well, 1v1 me, homie. I'll be the dude crashing into trees. Yes, don't follow you. Don't follow Yogi. I will get in my japs and you won't touch me. Dude, I'll, no. Germans, here I come. No, japs. German japs. biplanes will smoke any <laughs> jap. No, no, you cannot beat the turning capabilities of a jap. I don't I'm still going to I'm still going to outturn you. You're you don't know Dude, what <laughs> I'm going to fly around you in circles and you're not going to be able to touch me. All That's right. She ladies said, and gentlemen, challenge accepted. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here in the next week <laughs> on the channel Obi-Wan X2, you and will soldier. see a 1v1 and soldier. If he decides to record it, you will see a 1v1 in War Thunder. What tier? I've only got up to tier two. Okay, tier two. Mr. Soldier's Japanese Watch out. versus. Hey, my t shirt matches. There you go. See, I know karate. Versus. It's just one plane. we doing realistic? We can do realistic, custom. Ooh, realistic. Ooh, you got the hardcore. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. it's going to be one plane. Soldier 
soldierisms Japanese versus Obi Wan's U.S. Mm-hmm. We you are going Germans. to rock his world. I don't know. Okay, just, okay. Obi's Junior. Obi's Germans. That's fine. It too. don't matter. I'm just. You either get a BF one ten on America, your America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's something that I just I I have like half of my camera on my Skype uh, blocked, and all of a sudden I see Yogi, Yogi going America. America. <laughs> that's all I heard, dude. What the? Oh. But anyway, okay. Again, soldierisms versus Obi Wan X two, Japanese versus, I'll take it, Germans. Mm-hmm. Guys, looking for that video, we are going to be doing. I, we can do one v ones, two v twos, three v threes. Whatever you guys want to do, just let us know, and we'll come on and play. Let's get going. Yeah, we will do. We will do. We're going to be doing all these randoms. Um, um, we, we're going to be doing all the giveaways randomly. So you guys got to make sure you guys stay connected. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. Um, if you guys. Uh, I, I'll do it right now. If you guys want to add me on Steam, that's fine. Just add uh, fiction from me. And um, if anybody else wants to, um, I'll either accept it or decline it. If you're a viewer and you really want to play Steam games with, especially like War Thunder, you don't have to be on Steam to play War Thunder, but War Thunder, it's Obi-Wan X2. Soldier Z? No, it's honestly, if you want to get a hold of any of us, the best way to do it, just so that there's no confusion, Twitter. We do have our own group. We have Horseplay Group, it's a public group. Join us. We are in, we are members of it, I guess. I think uh, <laughs> you, will, you will see us. We are, we, I, we are, okay, me and Yogi are officers. I don't know where the hell Obi is on it. Just screw him. I, 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 have, I have to minute, promote him to, I'm uh, not. You have to promote him. Yeah, you're you're fiction on there, aren't you? Yeah, he's fiction. All right, so sorry, I forgot to uh, promote him. So there you go. We we have our own Steam group. So the easiest way to get a hold of not only us but fellow horseplay fans would be to go to our Steam group and join us, and then me, that way I'm gonna put it up there for everybody. So put it up there. if you guys give me a link real quick, I'll put it up for you guys, and you guys can join it right now. Um. If you give me a link in uh, our little chat, please. please. Oh, you want it in the... In the, the chat? That's a lot of work here. Please. 